Hi everybody, really welcome to this video news. Thanks for joining for this review, which tonight is this. It's the Brooklyn Lager from Brooklyn uh, Brewery in New York, in America. Um, I think I think I paid two pounds for this. You can get this in lots of places nowadays. Lots of supermarkets sell it. Um, it's now um, brewed by uh, Marston's in the UK. Never used to be. I think it used to be on the front of these brewed in. Did you say brewed in New York or brewed, brewed in Brooklyn? Um, and yeah, uh, but now it's just brewed over here by by Marston's. Um, but by all accounts, people that know the drink, know the drink of old, actually still think it could stay. It tastes like it used to do back in the day. So. So I wonder if Brooklyn uh, Brewery have actually can take, uh, have actually um, have a lot to say about how it's brewed, all the quality control, the ingredients, that sort of thing. That said, I think Marston's are a good brewer. Not everything they do is perfect, but lots of things they do are very good. So this is a good 660 ml bottle. So that has poured clear and amber with a lovely frothy white head so it is a lager but it is uh, an american amber lager calls it hoppy on the front let's have a little snifter let's see shall we it is quite hoppy it's sweet. First, first and foremost, it's quite sweet. I think those lager malts are doing it's doing the business. Nice caramel sweetness coming through. A little bit floral. A little spicy note at the back end. I smell a bit of fruit in there as well. It's got like a little citrus twang to it. Let's taste it, shall we? Cheers, everybody. That is nice. Definitely getting some citrus through on that. I thought it was more of it than that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, flavour wise, those sweet lager malts are coming through. A little hint of caramel in that flavour. And then some citrus going through. There is a nice zestiness. I know why I say hoppy on the front now. There's a nice hoppy citrus zestiness coming through. And then right at the back, when all those flavours have gone, there's a nice little spicy note. That is a good lager. It's a good lager. I seem to have a lot of lagers to go through at the moment. Um, I think a lot of you, a lot of you will know if you've if you've seen a couple of videos of mine. I've had to reorganise the beer wall because I was coming in to try and decide what to drink. And I think, if I'm being honest, I think I was being um, drawn more towards darker beers. So there's some lagers, some ciders. Never got a never got a I bought them with intention of reviewing, but I never got a look in. Um, so I've reorganised it all in kind of date order when I should be drinking stuff. And what it's meant is for some reason I've got a top shelf which seems to have a lot of lagers. I 
which is going to be fun. Looking forward to it. Um, got a Heineken up there. Don't think I'm particularly looking forward to the Heineken, but do you know what? A review is a review. Uh, yeah. Some good ones. Yeah, some good ones. I am, look I am looking forward to some of these. A Heineken, maybe not so for me, brutally honest, but never mind. Um, back to the beer. Sweet, a little bit of caramel, a little bit of citrus coming through. Nice little bit of spicy notes on, no, note on the back end. Um, did mean to say actually, it's good to see uh, Brooklyn. Because Brooklyn, I think I'm right in saying, or some of my um, uh, uh, American uh, community may correct me, but I think Brooklyn used to have back in the day quite a few breweries. And they're coming back now, which is quite nice. So it's becoming a little bit known now. I know um, one of our favourite brewers, Evil Twin, and now they're in Dumbo, I think. Um, really good, unfortunately, they set up um, after I was last there, which is an absolute crane shame. But obviously, these guys are there, and I think there's a number of craft brewers now uh, popping up in Brooklyn, which is really good. So we do plan to go back um, maybe next year, back to New York. Um, and if we do, I'm going to have a beer day. I'm going to have a whole day of planning out loads of brewers to go to, which I'm looking forward to. I may just end up going to Evil Twin and staying there, if I'm being honest. But I think these guys are going to be well worth a visit as well. Well worth a visit. That is refreshing. Tasty. Very tasty. And I am going to get some more of their beers. This is the one you see in all supermarkets. A lot of supermarkets. But I am going to have to try and grab some other beers and try them because it is a really nice brew. As lagers go, very, very good. Um, score wise, I am going to score that 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10 from Andy's Beer Reviews, what we are drinking tonight, please enjoy it. Um, from Friday tomorrow, uh, and this is the beer I'll be drinking. And I'm actually looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. So, yeah, till tomorrow, uh, from Friday, like I said, whatever you're drinking, please enjoy it. Uh, cheers, everybody.